All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We're getting our train, we're developing our little story here, we're seeing what we can do, we're just adding colors to it. A lot of colors, I love the colors. Tell you what, we gotta get some, get some more of this color up here, get, get some of these things covered. I'm gonna grab uh, some of this ultramarine blue, put some water into it. This makes a good shadow color. Because with that, so we got the side of the walkway here we gotta have, let's get that on here. We got some kind of beside the train there, We'll paint. See, that's a, that's a wall that goes up and down, so we'll paint it with strokes going that way. That makes it go up and down. And on the ground, we'll go with long strokes and go this way. That makes it run a long ways. Have a little bit more of that blue, I'll be a little bit darker. Let's get that. that. There we go, get our ground down in here. That's where the train's coming into the station. That's where it's coming into. We got to get some dark right in here. I don't want all that covered. See how you can draw on top of it. Mm -hmm. That's a good shadow. That's a good shadow color. Got my got my little ultramarine blue there. Let's get some shadow under that roof. Let's cast a shadow down on that roof. See how transparent it is. Looks like a shadow up there. That's what I want. This makes a good shadow color. And that shadow goes all the way here to that roof. And then we'll cast a shadow right up into that roof line. And it'll be under that seven so it just little preacher's bench. That'll be in the shadow down there. This end of it. So we're just gonna put some shadows. This side of the doorways in the shadow. And always the top of the door is in the shadow. And that gives us something to paint over. Of course, going back in that door and the window. See, just that's how I can colors, that's the depth of that. That makes it look like you can just about walk in that door, don't you? And we gotta get this covered. This is the sidewalk. It's gonna have colors in it. And so that's not a bad color for a sidewalk, we we'll just cover the sidewalk with it. Another thing we need, we gotta get this under this track. We gotta get all this covered with some color in here. We we'll didn't put that down there. We're just trying right now to get some colors on this canvas. And get this covered up a little bit. So we haven't painted our engine yet. Inside our window, we gotta get some color in there. Get some paint on it. Realistically, that's probably gonna be a little bit of yellow in there. We well, got the lights on back in there. We'll make that look different here in a little bit, but that's, we'll get some, some of that in there. Put our panes back on there. Like there's a light inside that window. We'll build the windows on top of that. I grab a little bit of that wine. This is already dried too much. Okay. While we're doing this, let's take some colors. Let's, need, let's get our ground covered. We'll grab a big brush. Something that I can get some paint on there with. Just use these all these different colors we got out here. Move some of this stuff, especially if it looks like ground colors. I gotta cover this. I need everything covered. Go right across the top of my green. Picked up some green on that stroke. So we'll get some more of that, those two mixed together out in here. Grab a little bit of blue under this train. Let me down in the shadow, and that white is blue right there. We'll have to thin that down a little bit. That just I mean you gotta have dark before you can get light, so we need some darks in there. I'm just gonna take and see what I put off it now just by scrubbing it, I moved it along, see. I moved it along along. Under the train, it would be dark, it'd be in the shadows. So, all that other we did was just drawing. So, you're gonna have your wheels and get them kind of get some paint on the wheels. Up under here, in this part of it, a little bit darker up under there, just a bit darker. We're not afraid to paint our canvas. We'll put the paint on there. 
we'll move it around where we need it. We'll add whatever colors we need to make it work. A lot of times I do this, I hear people in the background go, oh, they gasp, what's he doing? What's he doing? We're just adding colors. And that's more of that blue on top of that green in there, just to give me a ground that's not flat, just getting on there. So we're just we're moving all this into each other, scrubbing that, so you can scrub that canvas with that brush and make different strokes. Because actually, what's beside this track, grab a little bit of this blue, Got some of this red put in with it. What was beside this track actually is gravels and this is probably a lighter color than this, but you can't make light without dark. We'll put it on top. This one on top. Get my shadows under there again. Make sure I get over that cow catcher good. Now underneath that cow catcher, right down there, it's going to cast a big shadow. Grab some more of that blue, a little bit more of that red. Mix those two together. Get a good shadow under here, say. That's going to be down under that thing. Under those wheels and along that railroad. Along that track, see. It's back under that, behind those wheels. Back up under there. Don't be afraid to get them darks in there. Because you're going to need them in a little bit. And on the back side of those wheels, we'll be darker under there. So these part of the wheels are in the shadows up here and underneath that car. Back right to the back of that car, where it's in the shadow. That's a good car color for that right now. That coal where it's in there. Into that car, and that doorway right there. Let's get it. Get some dark in there. I'm just getting stuff to paint into. That's all we're doing. That's all we're trying to do. Get stuff done. So if we put other colors on top, we have something there. Now see how it made it look like that thing's casting that shadow down there on the, underneath that? Underneath this can right here, just where the steam comes out. Okay, you move that paint around. Don't be afraid to cut our ties in there. Those railroad ties are what hold the tracks up. We need to paint the tracks on yet. We're just putting all these other colors in here. Just mixing colors and throwing it on there. It gives a good ground color. Get all this clean canvas covered. Well, that's more water than my brush. So it just gets it on there. Gets these colors on there as quick as I can. Grab some of this right here, just that yellow ochre. Just get it on there. Let's make a ground color. That's all I'm making. You know what color ground color is? It's kind of mud. Just something to paint in there. Tell you what, I got some of that. Color, just get that a little bit more in here. Just kind of move it along. Don't be afraid to put strokes in there. Use different things. Just move it along. I tell you what, it looks wild right now, but it'll clean up pretty quick. Y'all come.